Hello everybody, this is a video is going to show you how I recalculated the distance of the Earth to the Moon and have the correct distance instead of a false distance, which is what we've been led to believe by accident. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is the size that NASA says it is. So I go on the nasa.gov website, a fact says the average distance from the Earth of the Moon is 384,400 kilometers. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to save it. So that's the distance of the Moon from the Earth according to nasa.gov. Now my video is going to show you how it's mistaken. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a photograph. The photograph here is taken from a space shuttle in outer space and as you can see in the green circle here we have the International Space Station. Now the International Space Station according to Wikipedia says that it's at a minimum altitude of 278 kilometers or a maximum altitude of 460. In this picture here you can also see up in here in the top left corner I uh, marked with a green line the uh, total atmosphere all the way up to the edge of space which is 500 kilometers. The reason why it's 500 kilometers is a rough estimate a rough estimate of 460 which would be where the International Space Station is which is actually in outer space not in our atmosphere. So I'll show you on Wikipedia quickly. Altitude of the ISS and we go here and we do a control F search for altitude and it says right here the ISS is maintained in nearly circular orbit with a minimum mean of altitude of 278 kilometers and a maximum of 460 so that's on wikipedia.org the second picture is also taken from space but this one is from the International Space Station itself what we're looking at is the moon going behind the earth because this blue aura so to say is the atmosphere of the earth but the moon is going behind it and since the earth is a circle that's why this is round so in this picture I put the 500 kilometers once again because that would be the distance from the ground level of the earth up to the edge of the atmosphere in outer space now the third picture I want to show you is the moon taken from the earth uh, sorry the earth taken from the moon so in this photograph this is when the Apollo mission they went to the moon and from the moon they took a picture of the earth now what you can see here I'll explain in a few seconds uh, the facts of the radius of the moon is 1737 kilometers and the the facts of the radius of the earth is 6378 I can prove that to you by going to Google and typing in radius of the moon radius of the moon is 1737 1737 radius of the earth is 6378 6378 now the radius of the earth or the moon is half the size of the diameter so the diameter would be twice this number and the diameter of the moon would be twice this number now what I'm going to explain here is what I did as I took a photograph of the moon from the earth with the actual size of the trees in the moon and with that s actual size of the moon I copied it onto this picture of the earth from the moon and that gives us 3.6 times across and 3.6 times across so the next thing I'm going to show you now that we know that the moon is 3.6 times smaller than the earth in radius or in uh, diameter <coughs> the next thing I'm going to show you is my drawing that I did knowing that the moon takes up 500 kilometers at the distance of space I'll show you my drawing So 
So in my drawing we have our Earth on the left and our Moon on the right. And this blue line here is going to be the distance I'll show you at the end. So to start, I have the radius of the Moon, uh, of the Earth, which is 6,378, like I showed you in the photograph, 6,378. And we have the radius of the Moon over here at 1,737, which is 1,737. Now what I did is I took our Moon from this photograph, which takes up 500 kilometers of space, and I put it here, in between the surface and the edge of the atmosphere. Now, to show you, it is actually 500 kilometers, and like I said here, 500 kilometers. So, the difference here is that this is not the correct size of our moon correct size of our moon is not 249 kilometers in radius. So to do that and find the actual distance, I started from the central point of the Earth and I put my cone on either side of the moon uh, from space view. And since objects grow proportionally over distance, I have the correct radius here of 1737. And the distance is what we're looking for, is between the Earth, between the center of the point of the Earth and the center point of the Moon is 42,550. But what we're looking for is the distance between the edge of the Moon and the edge of the Earth. which is a distance of 34,935 34,935 kilometers and this is the distance of the moon from the earth from my calculations and to backtrack this to prove it to you I have two links that I'm going to show you the first is on Yahoo Answers I believe no Wiki Answers And on Wiki Answers it says, how many days does it take to go to the moon? Well, the uh, Apollo 11 astronauts took three days to reach the moon and two days to come back. So three days to go to the moon and two days to come back. Now, I want to show you this website as well. How long does it take to fly completely around the Earth in a plane? Well, according to this, it says that the average commercial jet travels at 550 miles and the Earth is somewhere around 26 miles, uh, 26,000 miles. So if we were to convert 26,000 miles into kilometers, that gives us 41,800 kilometers. So, to go around the Earth completely, or to go to the Moon, it takes roughly the same amount of time. Because here it says 47 hours, and it takes 48 hours and 2 days. And the only way to make that possible is for the distance from the Moon to the Earth to be actually more or less the same size as the circumference, which is 40,000. 40, 42,550. Well, that was my video, and hopefully you found it interesting. So uh, tell your friends, tell your family, and uh, don't believe uh, mistakes anymore. And if you find a mistake, let me know, and I'll correct it. Hello, everybody. This is a video is going to 